Hey guys, it's Armbro here. We're going to be tackling the water fort today. I kind of figured we would need a water deck, so I kind of made one um, before actually going to this guy. I'm going to be battling this guy, Craig. Um, he wants me to build a pure water deck um, with only water energies. Um, so I just put a Jolteon in because he only takes two colorless energies to do quick attack and might as well. So um, anyways, we're going to be battling him first. Um... So here we go, the first battle of the water. Ooh, it's like, he kind of looks like Brock to me. I don't know, that, that might be just me. So here we go. <coughs> so two star use, decent. They do 20 damage each with one water energy, so that's really good um, to start out with, especially especially um, because usually water Pokemon have only 20 HP. I go first, which is awesome. So I'm going to item finder, I guess. Um, so I'm really scared of him like actually killing me, um, maybe going to another person and probably having an electric Pokemon. So what I'm actually going to do is next turn to use potion on the when he uses slap on me. Fucking he, I, I know this guy has a bunch of energy removals, which really pisses me off. Um, because it's just, I don't know why. But with this deck, it's so hard to get water energies. Um, I'm going to give a potion on Staryu so I just don't die. Um, let's just go for another slap. And next turn, I'll use Item Finder and get the potion back so I can live another guy through another guy. He's going to send out his Eevee, which I'm fine with. It takes two energies to do ten damage. Um, and it does and I mean, it's same attack. I get to flip a coin if heads. I hit him if tails. I don't. But let's go for Bill. Come on, Bill, please. Water energies. Fuck you, Bill. Fucker. Mmm, I hate you, Bill, so much right now. Um, let's get Bill, because I need more water energies. Water energies, please. Water energies. Fuck you, Bill! God damn it. Okay, I have a plan. Okay, so I'm going to use... Ma I'm going to get Magikarp. I'm going to need water energy on him. And, um, actually, let's just go for Potion. Then get water energies on him so I can evolve into Gyarados. He only needs three energies to use, um... What's his face? To use dra um, Dragon Rage, which is 50 damage. So let's just do that. Um, even if he does use any attack, it's only it's only gonna do 10. Fuck! Oh god. Um, that's not good. The energy rule really fucked up my plan. Mmm, this is gonna be tough. So let's just put Magic Grip on the bench. Um, and just boost him. Um, I could live for two more turns. And um, let's just put his. Mo oh fuck. Uh, he just killed my my star. You fuck. Oh god, that just fucked up my plan even more. Um, let's just try to send in my... Actually, send in the Squirtle because I could take three hits. Um, let's just wait right now and just... <sighs> okay, I need water. I get three water energies in a row um, for the next three turns. So I'm just going to put them on Magikarp. Um, keep Squirtle alive as long as possible. Thank god he has 50 HP. Um, and hopefully he won't get... Super energy removal. I know he has one in his deck. Um, because actually it took me... I lost one before this. But let's just hope to God he doesn't get it. Because it would be really bad if he did. So I'm going to take 20 damage from the from the tackle from the Voltorb. And I get another one energy. Let's put it on Gyarados. Um, actually, Gyarados is actually weak to grass, which is really interesting. So even if, I, even if my um, Squirtle does die next turn, um, I get switched into him and I only take 10 damage from, from the tackle. Which is really good. I can't retreat. I wish I could. Or I could take this Voltorb out, but I can't, sadly. Um, fuck! It does super energy removal. Oh, God, that's bad. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. I actually have Gyarados with at one water energy. I just need 200 energies. I need a bill or water energy. Fuck. Oh, God, I can't do anything. Oh, this is not good. But he only do... Oh, shit. He could do... Oh, my God. Really? Oh, okay, he can't do anything. I, need, I think he needs two energies to attack, and I can't do fucking anything right now. I need energies, okay. He can't do anything either. I'm fine. Fuck! God damn it. I need a draw. I need a drawing card. A drawing card, maybe an item finder. I need a bill or Professor Oak. One of those two cards. Okay. Seriously, deck, you are literally killing me. I have 19 water energies in this deck. Why aren't I getting any of this? God damn it. But thank God he can't do anything to me. He uses Bill. Um, come on, don't give him... Fuck you, Bill. You gave him a water energy. He does do 20 damage. Um, okay, awesome. Water energy. Let's put this on Gyarados. I can live a couple turns. As long as I get three, I could just two-hit KO it with um, two, dragon two Dragon Rages. Um, okay, 
just does 20 damage. I'm fine with this. I could live like three more hits. Um, okay, okay. I, this is looking good. I just need a water energy. Just a water fucking energy. Come on. Come on, Gyarados. Come on. Come on, deck. Give me water energy. Give me water energy, please. Booyah, motherfucker. Mm. Take it. Take the Dragon Rage to the face. It does 50 damage to him. I could take him out next turn and hopefully take out one more guy before my Gyarados dies. Um, it. I'm saying that because it makes me really sad to say this, but he probably won't live another. Um, so I have to already think about what am I going to be doing next. Okay, um, let's put me Eevee on the deck and just get Vaporeon up as strong as possible because he does. She does have a a thirty attack and a water gun, which does ten does thirty plus ten for every more water energy it has. Of, over three, so it's gonna. He's obviously gonna take me out with the dark Vaporeon, but as long as I draw another water energy, I could um send out my Vaporeon, um well my Eevee. It's gonna be a Vaporeon next turn. Awesome. Okay, I can use Quick Attack. If I get two heads, I could take him out with two Quick Attacks, or if I get another just any energy, I can take him out with a Water Gun. So this is looking really good for me. As long as he doesn't do Whirlpool, which takes a Water gen Energy off my guy. Okay, just trying to do as much damage as I can. Um, I will be able to, bah, god damn it, uh, this is not good, so let's just use quick attack, heads please, booyah, takes out the Vaporeon, Vaporeon on Vaporeon action, I just raped him in the face, I just need one energy to win this, this is looking good, as long as he doesn't use sand attack, I'll be fine, okay, um, as long as I can get a quick attack, a heads and tails, I'll be fine, okay, awesome, this is even better, I can, oh wait, why did I do that, mmm, that was a bad idea, because I just get tails here. If I get a water energy next turn, I have the game. If it's if it not, I can maybe get a tails and be fine. Because Eevee's not doing that much. Ooh. Ooh, this is bad. Um Let's put Dragon Team on the bench. That was really bad. Play heads, please. Okay, awesome. I win the game. I took out the Eevee. As long as I got the heads, I would have been fine. If not, I would have been in trouble. But I got the heads. I took out Craig, the first part of the water gym. Whew. That was slightly scary. <laughs> so, we're going to get this fossil pack. Um, muck? Ooh, an actual muck. Not like the dark muck that I have. I like dark muck better, but... Ooh, ghastly. Um, okay, so we're going to go to the next room. Um, the person who actually has Jack hostage, the water um, elite four member, I guess you would say, um, I try to use that electric deck, but you have to have a deck with four magic arps in it. I'm going to edit my deck, and, um, here we go. So, hmm, this Aiden guy, I don't know, it reminds me of Aizen, but in the, in the name only, and this guy looks like a little wimp. So here we go. Okay, no, no Pokemon in his hand. That's fine. That's actually really good for me. Um, let's see here. I did make a grass and water deck. As long as it has four, ma four magic arps in it, you're fine. Um, I do have a Scyther, which is sexy. I don't know. This is for magnitude. <laughs> so, here we go. Four prizes. Flip a coin. Come on, heads. Tails. Fuck. Chansey. God damn it, Chansey. After this episode, I'm changing. Actually, on this episode, I'm going to change into um, something else. We'll see. So, we get the bill. Get the fucking energy on. Okay, this is bad. Um, Grimer is actually really good in this deck because... Okay, grass energy on... Ooh, what should I do? Um, I know poison gas. Okay, it's automatic poison. That's really good. So as long as I live next turn without him evolving, he'll he'll die just by poison itself. So that's really good for me. And hopefully I could draw another Grimer. Oh shit. Um, that's not good. Okay, ten damage. I could take the ten damage. I don't really care if this Grimer dies. Um, as long as I draw another Grimer, I'll be fine. So please. Okay. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. You know what, Bill? I'm not even using you. I'm using your transporter. Fuck you, Bill. I'm taking your transporter. I get... Okay, awesome. I get a Grimer. Um, I could boost this Grimer off on the bench and uh, evolve it into Muck. Um, hopefully, he'll be weak to grass. <laughs> I really hope this Poliwag is weak to grass because if it is, I could take him out on my turn, on my turn's poison because Sludge Punch actually does 20 damage and it automatically poisons him. That's really good. And it's really good with his special ability because it gives... Two colorless energies more to for them to retreat, so it gives me more of a chance to kill him with the poison. So I'm gonna evolve into Dark Muck. Okay, awesome. He's weak to grass. Um, I'm gonna use Sludge Punch, which 20 damage, 
40 because of weakness and a poison, which means he will die of poison between turns, which is really good. Um, so I draw a prize, my first prize, um, and he sends in the, I think, is this the magic herb that has a tenant? Okay, awesome. I can take him out with, with a sludge punch. He uses flop, which, 10 damage, not really good, do that much. And I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm gonna put Water Angel on magic herb, just sludge punch him in the face. Uh, 20 damage. I didn't even need the poison. I think it has nothing else, and I think I would just win that one. Okay, that's no, okay, awesome. Iden's done. I didn't want to deal with a Gyarados. Um, Gyarados is really, ooh, a Psychic Battle? I haven't got that booster pack yet. Ooh, Moonstone. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay, I'm loving this Psychic Battle booster pack. Oh, wow. I am loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, awesome. I need more of these Psychic, psychic Battle booster packs. Um, I do free Jack. Um, which was the Articuno member of the Legendary Four. Um, and let's see what promotional card he actually gives me. Um, I'm guessing a Magikarp based on the Magikarp type of battle. So let's just see here. And the Magikarp. Oh my fucking god. Is that using Dragon Rage Magikarp? Oh my god. Okay, if, if one is Tails, it does nothing. But does, if both are heads, it does 50 fucking damage. That is ridiculous. That's like raging Magikarp to the extreme. I, I might actually use that. Um, but he actually lead um, opens up to the next area. Um, that was pretty easy for that one. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to use my electric deck. My, my electric and grass deck, which I love. By the my my Yeah, my electric and Zach grass deck. So here we go. Um, he doesn't seem, if, it's usually, if he has a special condition, it's usually in English, so let's see what happens. Okay, awesome, I can battle. So, let's see, um, tiny bench, which means we only have a bench of three Pokemon, that's, I'm fine with that, I'm fine with that, that's, that's perfectly fine. So, five, six, seven, and here we go, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Grimer, ooh, let's do Grimer out first, because he does have the poison, which auto, with auto poison on, and I get a Bill and Professor Oak, which is really good. So, toss a coin, heads, please. Oh yeah, motherfucker. Um, I draw a card. I get electric energy. Um, let's just put grass energy on Grimer and just go for it. Let's go Bill first before I do anything. And Pokemon Trader. And ooh, that's really good. As long as I draw a Pokemon, um, I can evolve into Dark Muck soon. Um, that's actually a really good card to have in the deck. So I'm gonna get. He's gonna get ten to poison. Um, and as long as I could take this guy out, I think he only has this guy. Um. Water energy on Surge. If he could do nothing more, he could really do. So, um, he's got 10 more damage due to poison. And I draw a Dark... Okay, I was going to get Dark Muck anyways with Pokemon Trainer, but I'm just going to go, go for the Sludge Punch and just take this guy out on the poison damage turn. So, I think that's... I mean, I mean, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't see a bench Pokemon, so I think I win already. So, yep. That's done and done. You just got... Your ass kicked, Noah. And he looks like a fat ass anyway, so pfft, get out of my fucking way, dude. So I defeated Noah against Team Rocket's ambition. What? I want the psychic battle. Ooh, a dark, a dark and hypno, I guess. Um, super scoop up, worthless pack. So he just opens the area, and I'm like, okay, move out of the way, buddy. Thank you. So I'm gonna battle this person. It's Sandy. Um, I find it kind of funny because, um, Sandy, Misty, I don't know, something, in, it, it hit a funny bone on me. Giggity. Um, so I'm going to pile Sandy, almost said Misty, which is the water stream deck, deck, which means, uh, her special fort ability thingy is that, um, each water Pokemon has one less retreat cost than they usually do, which doesn't really affect me that much. Um, I'm using grass and electric deck, so let's just send out. Grimer first, because I do have the po auto poison, which is ridiculous. Ekans on the bench, and there's Grimer on the bench. I have a fuckload of energies, so I'll be pretty fine, sitting pretty fine now. So I'm going to flip a coin, and head. Booyah, motherfucker. So, get a bill. Come on, I need I need a Pokemon. Pokemon. And, oh, thank you. Okay. You know what? I don't know why, but Bill always seems to do well for me um, on the Fort Masters. I don't know why. Everyone else, it just fucks me over. Bill just fucks me over. 
but for this, I don't know why, but I love it. <laughs> okay, so anyways, he doesn't put energy, any energies on him, so that means he's probably going to use Staryu as a fodder, which is fine with me. I can take him out next turn with a Sludge Punch, um, just because I could evolve into Dark Muck, which is awesome, which actually kind of fucks over his, uh, her, um, sport ability, which, I mean, Dark Muck special ability, two, en two plus energy retreat cost. So we can send out his Articuno. Which I'm fine with. I mean, 20 damage per turn, plus 10 for every um, switch turn. That's poison. So I'm going to put Grass Energy on Ekans. Just go for the Sludge Punch. Just a pretty decent chunk to this guy. Um, and it does poison, which is really good. I love poison in this in this Pokemon card game. So I'm just going to keep on going with it. Um, Water Energy on Lapras. And I'm um, in, in the turn. So I'm going to draw a card. Come on, Poke... God damn it. I have so much fucking energy, so I'm funny. So let's just go grass energy on Ekans and go for the sludge punch again. And when it goes to when he goes to my turn, his Articuno will die. Because it's ten damage on when it comes to him and then what ten more damage coming to me. So let's hopefully he doesn't do anything like switching or anything. And oh okay, double colors energy. Okay, awesome. He just died on his turn. That means he will bring another Pokemon to come out, and I can poison that one to a Sludge Punch, which is really good for me. So I'm going to go Grass Energy on, might as well put on this Grimer and just go for Sludge Punch. I mean, there's no loss in me using, poisoning his guys. I mean, that's really good to do, really good to do right now. Um, and it seems like all this Pokemon have the same amount of HP. Um, so Water Energy on Golding, Confuse Ray. Ooh, this is, this could be bad. Fuck. Oh god, I am really unlucky with Confuse. So, but it's fine. He does take poison every turn. I don't want to retreat because um, retreat could it could also hit me. So I'm gonna just go for Sludge Punch. Hopefully, heads, please. Damn it. Um, it does 20 damage to me. Um, and then it just switches automatically hit to him, which I'm kind of okay with, just because the point. That, oh fuck, Water Gun. I think that no, it doesn't take me out. Just 20 damage. I have 10 HP left. Um. Okay, I just need a po Fuck you, deck. Seriously, just put energy on Ekans. Um, and let's just go for Slash Punch, please. Damn it, that takes me out. Um, that's really bad because he, he, I could just bring he, I bring another Pokemon out, and um, on when it comes to me, back to me, he dies. But he could use Confuse Ray, which confuses my guy. It makes it even worse. Okay, he gets Star You. Wait, oh shit, you get Seeking. Um, that could be bad. So let's just go for, okay, Horn Attack, that's not that much. Seeking is terrible in Pokemon and in Pokemon card games. So let's just go for Wrap. Um, hopefully I'll paralyze him, please. Damn it. Ooh, this is, this is slightly scaring me right now because I'm not draw, drawing Evolution cards. I'm not drawing Pokemon. I'm just drawing Energies, which I mean, and, okay, awesome. I get this Electabuzz. Um... And I've got a fuckload of energies, so I'll just go for wrap heads, please. Okay, awesome. Um, as long as I get another heads, I could take out the Sea King, um, and he can't really retreat or anything. So as long as, and even if he, even even if I don't, um, I just put energy on Electabuzz. Um, he can only use ten damage to me unless he puts another energy on Sea King, which means, but he will die next turn. So there's nothing really point of him just. Okay, I get the par paralyze, so he appears for, gets cured from paralysis, and I put energy on Electabuzz, and I'm just gonna retreat into Electabuzz because oh, actually in a Grimer, just because I have the poison thing, which means if, even if he does bring out a really strong Pokemon, I get poison automatically, and that's really good for me. Okay, he sends out this Articuno. Um, it takes four energies to do 30 damage, which is a fuckload. So I'm actually just going to poison this guy, do damage every turn. Um, I think I might just use Professor Oak. Uh, there's nothing really to lose here. So I'm just going to go for poison gas, just to poison this guy right now. Um, and just take it from there. So here we go. And, oh god, this is scaring me. This Articuno is dangerous. So, he okay, awesome. He doesn't draw energy, so... Um, it does, does take 10 damage to poison, and I can use Sticky Hands, which it does, th um, 10 damage plus 30 if, um, if I get a heads, and it paralyzes him if I get heads, but I just do 10 damage, which is fine with me. It's 10 more damage plus poison. It's just gonna rack up. Um, so, as long as it doesn't draw energy, I'll be fine. Oh, retreats to another one. But you know what? I'll just poison that motherfucker, too. 
So I'm actually just going to put, you know what, let's just go for poison gas just to poison this guy. There's no really point in me doing anything else. I don't think I have a, another dark muck in this deck. So I just going, staying in, just going for the sticky hands as much as possible is the best thing to do right now. Um, and, I mean, poison is just going to rack up. Even if he switches again to his other Articuno, I mean, there's nothing more I could do. is just go for sticky hands and get get a tails, of course. Um, I mean, he needs to invest four energies into this Articuno for it to do anything. Otherwise, it's just death fodder. So, um, ooh, that's actually really good, the Dark Starmie. Ooh, that's scary. Um, ooh, let's just, come on, please. Pikachu, I really don't need you, Pikachu. Heads, please. Okay, awesome. I finally get a heads. It's 30 damage. It's going to take him out, um, which means you could bring in another Pokemon. I just need two more prizes, so this Dark Starmie is kind of scaring me. Um, he goes Water and Gel Lapras, Spinning shatter, Shower, uh, does 20 damage to each of them. Oh, shit. And he gets the heads, which means he does 20 damage to my Electabuzz and 20 damage to my Grimer. But I know he's weak to electric. I know this Dark, dark Storm is weak to electric. So I'm going to retreat into my Electabuzz, um, go for electric energy on him, and just go for the Thundershock, which means it will automatically KO me. I don't need to get the Paralysis. Um, so all he has left is just one Pokemon. And this this Articuno that's already weakened. Um, I mean, it just has 40 health left. And he just needs that two more two energies to actually do anything. So I'm actually sitting pretty pretty nice here. I'm just gonna go to the grass and Ivasaur. I know I can do 40 damage with him, so I'm gonna retreat into the Ivasaur, go for the Vine Whip, and take him out, motherfucker. Fuck you, Articuno. Um, <laughs> so I win against Sandy the Water Fort. Whew, that was a little shorter than last time. I'm actually looking pretty good on the time right now. So I get. Two booster packs, which they're not good. Ooh, I get a Ar Aerodactyl. I actually might make this make this into my fighting deck because it does resist fighting. So, um, anyways, that's gonna be pre pretty much it for this one. The next one, I get a I get a Psyduck coin. Uh, I'm not liking the Psyduck coin. Um, I'm actually, you know what? Next time I'm gonna use get the Magmar coin. I like Magmar, so I'm going to get get the hell out of this water fort. Um, water was fun, but you know what? I'm going to be going to the fighting fort next, which will be really cool. I need, You need all the uh, um, badges before just to get here. Uh, see, so there's two little things here. That is the water and the fire forts. Um, so right now I'm going to change into the Magmar coin, which I'm going to be using next time. So th that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and stay classy.